So in this video, we're going to be looking at metallic bonding and how we can actually draw a diagram to show the bonding in metals. Now, metallic bonding is electrostatic attraction between positively charged ions and delocalized electrons. And in this example, we're asked to show the bonding in magnesium. Now, in let's say magnesium, you've got a giant metallic lattice structure where magnesium, right, we know it to have two electrons in its outer shell because it's in group two. But what actually happens is, is we're left with magnesium two plus ions and then we're also left with two delocalized electrons itself and let's say if i were to draw a diagram for this right i would need to first of all draw out some positive metal ions like magnesium two plus in this case and i would need to show a three by four diagram where i've got four positive metal ions in a row and then we've got three rows of this itself so what i end up with is slightly moving it to the right slightly move this one to the left i end up with this kind of zigzag shape itself now in terms of the number of delocalized electrons that's quite important if one magnesium atom releases two electrons right we end up with two times by 12 that's 24 electrons overall that we need to write on there so in that case i'm going to draw 24 electrons on there so i've got them spread apart i've got three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one 22 23 and then 24 all together now a good diagram always has labels so i'm going to label this a positive metal ion and then I'm going to label this my, and the keyword here is delocalized electrons. And that's how we can draw a metallic bonding diagram. Now I want you to do the same thing again with sodium. Feel free to pause the video and have a go. So yeah, in this case, we've got sodium. Sodium is going to exist as an atom with one electron in its outer shell. But we know, right, that we end up forming sodium ions and then one delocalized electron per lot of sodium ions itself. And so if I were to form a diagram again, I'm going to have one, let's say, ion itself, which is going to be sodium plus, And then I'm going to have, again, a four by three diagram where I end up with the following I'm cheating here by copying and pasting, but here's what you should end up with. Again, that zigzag shape, they're loosely together. They don't have to be completely joined. And we end up with, in this case, 12 electrons because we've got one electron release per sodium atom to make sodium ions. And there's my 12 electrons. And then I need to be able to give some labels. So I've got here a positive metal ion and then i've also got my delocalized electrons and that's my diagram done